Hey guys, uh, you're back with uh, Nate and Carl, or we're back with Nate and Carl for another rendition of Nate and Carl Show You RVs. Uh, well, this is a travel trailer, not technically an RV. So anyway, uh, these are my new favorite. Uh, they're uh, Solaris by Palomino. Uh, this is the brand new 2023, and uh, the model number is 258 RBSS. So rear bathroom super slide is what that shakes out to be. So you got a box length of 25 foot, and then the overall length is 27. Is that right, Carl? Yes. Okay, cool. So we'll just start in the front and we'll work our way around. I'll show you all the really cool features. Uh, up front, you got your pretty standard uh, uh, auto jack, and then you got your 17 pound, uh, two 17 pound uh, propane tanks. Those are all pretty standard. I do like that they have the seven pin hitch. Uh, you put it right in there if this breakaway cable wasn't in there well it's still tied up so anyway we'll bypass that but that's very convenient to have that um we'll move around it does have like this cool little light led strip hold on see if we can get that there we go got it going for you nice um uh, yeah moving on back you got plenty of storage you got a little actually motion detector light so you can just click that on and it'll automatically shut off so it's not draining your battery. Uh, right here, you got your stabilizer jacks. So of course, automatic, everybody's kind of moving to that, especially in the upper end travel trailers. You got a great Solaire uh, awning with uh, outdoor LED strips on uh, both the arms. Uh, Solaire is made by Lippert, really good product. You got outdoor TV mount. So nice. yeah, you just lift it up, take it inside. You're good to go. Right here's your cable outlet for it. You got some cool speakers out here. They got little LEDs, little party lights. Nice touch. Outlets, uh, your vent for your furnace. I'll have to check out the BTU, but normally they put 13 to 15,000 BTUs in here. Uh, this is a cool little storage. It also has outlets on it, but the storage goes the whole way up. So. I'm not sure what wow. you put in there. Maybe an outdoor mat if you stand it off the end. But you can play hide and seek in there. I'm sure you can find what a hole. You know. If you're playing hide and seek in there, you'll be the champion. Yes, absolutely. Um, you can see that it has the alpha ply roofing membrane, and this is what I really like: the lion's head um, lifetime uh, warranty on the tires. So first year, no excuses, guarantee. Uh, anything happens. You have a blowout, uh, shreds uh, the tire, and you get chips in the wheel, they'll replace the whole thing. And you can just read down through it. Um, you can throw it into Google, research it, but it's a really great little warranty, especially on travel trailers. I've been there. We had uh, pretty much a brand new travel trailer. It's only been out maybe six times or so. Had a blowout on Interstate 90, and it was kind of a pain in the butt. Oof. So, uh, moving on, this gigantic, outdoor kitchen this thing's really cool uh really nice like this is solid it gives you even a little outdoor pan and some utensils not just that but finding an outdoor kitchen this big on a travel trailer isn't very common is it no no uh this is definitely a good size so uh we cook almost all of our meals outside so for people like us it's you know it's really handy uh you cook inside it gets really smoky it gets hot etc it's messy keep the mess outside um right here is your your cooktop Ooh, so induction it's, yeah it's an electric uh yep and then you got your cabinets and such you got a little outdoor sink and outlets and all that good stuff so Very oh nice. yes yeah, i like the mo ride fold down steps those are starting to become increasingly more common easy adjustable all that you got your rear stabilizer uh you got this hefty uh, ladder, which is really convenient. You got your spare tire, propane quick connect. Uh, it's already pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. Tons of extra little conveniences. Uh, you got a good storage here. It does come pre-wired 50 amp, uh, especially on these smaller units and being in the south, it's ready to go even with an extra thermostat. Uh, inside if you wanted to upgrade your uh, your AC, which is really cool. Um, not exactly sure what this vent is for, but 
it's pretty cool and access to your plumbing. I'd have to look at the schematics to see. But the fact that they give you options to be able to kind of access stuff is nice. Um, solar, uh, you can plug your solar panels into here. You get those little backpack ones. Of course, a little outdoor light. And then you got your plug. Sewer location. What else do you got? Okay. Got a, uh, a six gallon DSI uh, water heater. So that means it is electric and or propane. If I can get this open. There we go. So it has the nice push reset here in case you, you lose power for it or it trips the breaker, um, pressure release, all that stuff. Uh, what I like about Solaire 2. You got your battery disconnect, but uh, even more so is they have the covered wet bay. So you can run your hose up through here and um, you can switch from dry camping to power fill, city, winterization, and, and uh, sanitize. So nice. You can access the water pump here too. So basically it's like your water connection, all that is in one spot. Yes, no sir. separate black tank flush valves or fresh water fill. It's all there. It's all conveniently right there. So I do like these. Uh, I've seen them on the camper vans, um, but I haven't seen them on the travel trailers yet. So it may start becoming more common on the travel trailers. I got to get to more shows, see what else is out there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll move on to the inside, which is everybody's favorite part, including mine. I don't know, that outdoor kitchen's uh, so far my favorite spot. It is pretty awesome. Uh, this thing was actually already sold. It's funny, uh, it sold within five hours of it being on the lot. The, it delivered straight from Michigan where they're built. Um, it was back getting uh, PDI'd or inspected and all of that stuff. And we had a customer come in. Um, I showed them everything on the lot. They're like, ah, you know, we still haven't found anything perfect. So I'm like, come on back, I'll show you this. And they're like, and they were immediately sold. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I was like, all right. Uh, same thing with the other Solaire too that was here. Uh, that thing was here, what, about a week, if that? If that, yeah, it sold quickly. So it's good products. When you get into them and you feel them and you see the layout, um, you'll really like them. So moving on, uh, it is. they are Amish built. They're built by the Amish. So uh, the least amount of warranty claims were made on these last year. Uh, out of anything on the Forest River, coming out of Forest River. These had the least amount of warranty claims. That's so, impressive. Yeah, it's good quality stuff. It's, uh, I highly recommend them. I really, really like them. So coming in here, you got just tons of storage. Uh, they, tons of storage. Wow. And then you got, of course, all of your sensors. You got your water pump, your automatic water heater, the DSI water heater, uh, living room lights awning lights and you got your slide control so it's all pretty standard stuff uh moving in tons and tons of space you got your seat cedar th cedar feeding there we go <laughs> got it uh, i think that's a scientifically correct term yep i think so too it's better than me calling it a fish wheel <laughs> instead of a fifth wheel I threw that one out there the other day so it's no longer fifth wheels it's fish wheels fish wheels i like it yep absolutely <laughs> So, yeah, we got Dynap for extra sleeping. Move over to here. You got good kitchen space. Uh, you got the, the farm style. I think that's what it's called, kitchen sink uh, with the sprayer. Uh, very convenient. You got your graystone cook uh, with the cool little LED lights. Um, you got your residential style refrigerator made by GE. Uh, they also have GE uh, AC? AC systems, yes. Uh, which so far uh, I started seeing them last year in the 2022 models and they seem to be performing really well I mean GE is a pretty solid brand so um, Yeah, I, I really like them, but that moves you on to over here. So you got two thermostats already nice So yeah, whenever you inevitably go to upgrade uh, the extra AC which I highly recommend uh, it's already pre-wired, so essentially you just have to buy the actual AC unit yourself. And if you're a handy person, you can you can install it yourself. It's four bolts. You know, you just take out the fan, drop it in, bolt it in with the four bolts, and it's good to go. I mean, all the wiring and everything's there. It's, it's pretty simple. It's plug and play. Plug and play. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so moving on, 
You got your uh, master bedroom with tons of space. It's got the walk around bed. You got little cubby holes in your wardrobe. Uh, outlets and uh, USB chargers for your phones. Um, it does have a space to, to mount a TV. So if you like to watch TV while you're in bed, it's there. Uh, you got the nice little window in the front. Uh, I, I always really like that feature. I first saw it in the Lances and why haven't they do it on this? Um, cool thing I just noticed literally right now is uh, the little LED accent light underneath there. Uh, then you got storage, you got your big screen TV, you got your Furion entertainment system, um, and just more storage in here. Nice. And then last but not least, Carl, we'll move on to the bathroom. Everybody's second favorite area. Yes, it is very spacious. Yeah, uh, that's at least 5'6", because I'm 5'8", and I don't know. There's a good amount of space. <laughs> You're not cramped in here. Um, and then this is really cool. Look at all that storage. You can fit a whole person in there. That's a lot of storage. You wanna climb up in there, Carl? Sure am. Show other people? No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, you also have the glass enclosure, which is really nice. Uh, I like the glass enclosures. It actually feels like you're in a shower. Uh, you know. Nice. So that, uh, I think, kind of concludes it. So, uh, we are Paradise RV located in sunny Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, you can check out all of our inventory at charlestonparadise.com. Uh, I wish I had the MSRP on this thing. I can't remember what it is. It's in the 50s, I think. Anyway, if you go to the website, uh, the, the pricing will be there for you able to pull. And then we'll have brochures. This video walkthrough will definitely be there. There's going to be pictures, uh, specifications, etc. All of that. And I am Nate, and that is Carl. And happy camping. Happy camping.